What's the plan for the caves and tunnels? Uh, Matcast, I'm assuming you mean the caves and tunnels underneath. They have to be slabbed too. If we, I mean, we don't have to have to, but it would help. None of this is stuff we have to do. The farm is just fine as it is. It's just that this is going to help with the aggro thing. So I don't know. Slabbing the surface might be enough. Slabbing the surface might be enough. So what I wanted to do here was uh, just do this. So one, two, three, four, and then this is the middle. So I thought rather than um, slabbing it with all, all, uh, I can't find my words, cobblestone, uh, then we would do this. because so I think that'll help. Uh, and then this is the stair block. So that we can do this. But the thing is, Matt like, we could also just fill it in rather than slabbing it. It depends on how much block placing we want to do. Hey, no problem, Alistair. Happy to help. Whoops. Uh, Pigmen. In the way. In the way. They say that they're passive. They're listed as a passive mob. They are passive aggressive is what they are. Aggressively annoying. Oh, that's not right. One, two, three. Yeah, there's one more. Then we get into the slabs. You, sir, are still in the way. I like the idea of this having a steep side to it, too, so that there's nothing in your in your view. It's just path and the side. Oh, that's supposed to be a stair. That. So when people do roads like this, do you have any kind of systems that you use? Because I've... I just kind of go off the center line, you know, like I try to figure out where the center line is. And so like this to me is the, is the center line. So then I would consider this to be the center of this platform. So like I can do something like that. I'm not going to leave it like that. I just want to indicate to myself where the center of the five by five platform is. Right? Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah. So then these would be like that. So then this would be, this would be black there. And so would this and this. Because then this would go off in this direction. I don't think we're going to have to go up and down. I think we're going to I think that's pretty even. Yeah, we're going to we're going to flatten that out. We'll just keep it the same. If this is the middle, then all of this stuff needs to be raised up a bit. And I can just destroy I think we were leveling this out, right? Well, that's good. That'll give me some extra nether rack. I say extra nether rack. We've got tons of nether rack. We just don't um, don't have it nearby, in terms of already mined. Okay. So I think I feel like that's pretty good. So if we're walking across here. coming up this way. Now all this will be slabbed. But 
but we approach from there. I think I will dip that down. Like I think, oh, there's a cast. Gotcha. I feel like this would be cool if, if we were coming up a hill, like if we came up a staircase and this was revealed at the top, I feel like that would be, that would be pretty cool rather than coming just straight at it and being able to see the top of it the whole time. So I feel like that would be cool. Alternatively, we could also come in from a little bit higher, but I feel like coming, I feel like maybe dipping down into this space could be kind of fun. Um, we could even maybe go around that. I do also want to map out where the edge is here because I want to have a couple of very specific pillars. Um, so it, we may end up keeping it at this height. I don't know. Uh, but for, for now, this is going to be the road. And I feel like, yeah, you turn here. You can still see it out of the corner of your eye. You get to see how big it is. And then you get to follow the road. And that will show the cliff side here, which is good. And then when you're back here, you can still see it out of the corner. So you kind of want to look. And then on this, this particular section here, we'll have the, the big platform where, where you, can, you can have a look before you have to go down. And honestly, I'm not sure where the staircase is going to end up, but it's going to be real close to where it is now. Like, we're going to have to move that. But I think it's going to end up being like sort of like there, which would be cool. Two, three, and then four. Two, three, four. Actually, this platform would be out farther. Yeah. So that's the edge of that. Cool. Because this was the middle, I think, yes. If this stays uh, black, it will actually be okay. We would just have to come up with some cool thing to put on the sides of it. Maybe like pink glass or something. I want it to match that in a way. So that will be... That'll be cool. Whoops. All right, so once I get this in, then we'll have a really solid idea where things are going. Uh, Matt Cass, you're right. Uh, I'm not sure if you're in the stream. I didn't check. Um, but yeah, as, as we slab, the pigment are absolutely going to be starting to concentrate in different areas. Did this do the full? This was, I think this was four from the middle. One, two, three, four, and then stair. Yep. That's right. So one, two, three. I need one more. So that's this done. Grab that and do this. I'm just going to mark in the middle with black so it's easy to spot later. Does anybody do this? Like, does anybody not necessarily build things twice, but do you do you do some some interchanging with building some stuff in rough blocks, outlining stuff first. Yeah, I think I'm pretty comfortable with this. I almost want this to be a curve, but I don't know. These these paths in the nether are all pretty straight. Um, and it does make it a little bit easier. It's certainly faster to build them. That's for sure. Not going to be fun if I punch a pigman. I'm going to run away if that happens.
So is everybody in the chat excited for the new foxes that are coming to Minecraft? We're going to be talking about that tomorrow on the Spawn Chunks. Foxes and what else changed in this update? There was something else that changed too. They're a cool environmental mob, says Elkhorn. Yeah, I like them. I like that they attack chickens and they get at your chickens over fences. Like they can jump over fences. Um, and if anybody's ever seen a, a, a fox hunt in the wintertime, that's how they jump up and dig into the ground to get like voles and mice and stuff. They can hear them through the, through the snow, uh, which I thought was really cool. thought it was a nice, nice touch. They are really cute. I like the winter ones. The winter foxes are really, are really cute as well. I feel like we're going to come off. Is that going to be wide enough? I feel like we might have to start from here. When you do things at an angle, it's never it's never quite the same. There's always a it's almost like the angle feel wider. Well, I mean they are wider because it's wider across the square than it is along the sides, but so if that's the middle, this is three, that's the edge there. So we can do this. Angled roads are actually easier to build, I think. They're harder to lay out, but once you've got the blocks in place, it's actually not so bad. You know what? We're just gonna we're gonna just cut this right back. Let's just get this out of the way. Some of the block generation in this game for Netherrack is weird. Yeah, I'm excited about the foxes. Uh, I'm curious. You have to feed them berries, so that's cool. Uh, I'm curious about. Oh, that's this is the wrong spot. I'm curious about a few things that they might bring to the table. That's in the right spot. Yeah. I'm wondering if there's going to be if there's going to be an ability to use foxes to harvest chickens. Like I don't know whether they eat the chicken that they kill or whether they kill the chicken and then everything just drops. So I'm not sure about that. But I actually I was working this week at a conference and I did not I haven't even loaded up the new snapshot. I haven't played with it, so I'll have to do that. Uh, maybe we'll try to that. Um, oh, I don't know if I'll have time on stream, but we could always try that some other time. Go. Let's hope it means they're getting closer to the release. The fox is the last taiga part of the update that was voted on. You're right. You're right. You're right. Have they implemented anything else new in taiga? Pigmen, come on, you're killing me. You know, I kind of like this thing with a border. I'm digging that. Fun times. This will keep it a little bit more interesting too. I find that when you're running on a straight road without turning too much, that's a little bit weird. This is nice looking too. I think this was a five by five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So one, two, three, one, two. Oh, I'm out of, out of slabbage. I know a lot will depend on where they are with the new villager professions. Yes, that's right. That's the other thing. That's the other thing. You can obviously tell that I'm less excited about the villager professions than I am with uh, with the other stuff that's coming to the game. So decision time. What do we do here? Do we go down? I kind of, I kind of want to go down a little bit and come back up because I'll tell you what I've got planned for for the center here like let's pop down there briefly and I'll kind of do like a quick a quick sketch we'll use some use some another rack so what I want to do down here or at this particular angle is have a wide like a wide entrance so we know that's the middle 
and we know the road that we've got going on is one, two, three, so five. So on this block, oh, I guess I have to do, that worked? Oh no, okay. I was like, what, what's going on there? So let's do that and then this, this is gonna look horrible, but so that's, this is the center. So one, two, on the third. So one, two, on the third. So this one. So they're gonna be maybe this far apart, maybe a little bit wider. So I'm gonna create two pillars that are taller than the wall that's gonna go around this thing. And that's gonna be how, what we pass through when you're passing from the nether kind of crappy road to get onto the new road. And this lava is in the way. But see, there's the pillar that I just put there and the pillar that I just put there. That's gonna be the entrance to, to that zone. And I think, yeah, you know what? I think I'm second thinking the height of that the height of that that platform i'm thinking i do want to head down in that direction like i kind of want to be looking straight at straight at that so let's figure out let's figure out where our our middle section is coming this way i think it's right here i think this lava is going to be right in the middle of everything so let's get rid of that and uh we need to get rid of these blocks anyway and then we'll map out the middle that's going to save this section down there. Okay, so this is the middle and we're just going to be old school torch line that. So yeah, the lava, the lava is directly in the way. Get rid of some of these. Might as well collect some too. And so the lava is right here, which means that this, that, that, this, and we just climb. Oh, wow. We're a lot farther down than I thought. Uh, hmm. Ah, this is where I had sand on my bar before I died, but this is what I need it for. So we're off by just a tad. That's a, that's fine. That's okay. So we can do this. Just to kind of indicate that this is the middle. And so I'm thinking we should probably go down. I, I was debating on having it stay high, but I think we're going to have to go down. It just seems like too good of an opportunity not to show off that cool lava lake. This does not look like a complicated lava flow to get rid of. This looks like it's just gonna be straight up, plug the hole, run away. Sweet. That's a lot of glowstone. I kinda, I kinda want some. I kinda, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda want some. Because when you find glowstone in the in the nether, do you guys clear cut it? Like, do you guys harvest it all, or are you weird like me, and you actually leave a little bit behind, just so that the nether doesn't look completely barren? Just curious. Oh, I am now okay. Here's my pillar. We do want to get rid of this though, because this is garbage. Oh, floating block silliness. Can I reach it? I need, okay. Drop down here, I could probably get it. Ha. That's something I want to keep. That's a pillar that I put there on purpose. 
gray planks. I've mentioned it on the podcast before, Fix It. I want to be able to paint wood. I don't need a new texture. I don't need a new block, which I mean, I guess technically it would be a new block, but I don't need them to change anything fancy. I just want to be able to put down wood and then paint it red or black or green or blue or whatever. Like I just, I want to be able to do that. And I think that would open up so much for people. And it would be such a simple, simple, simple thing. Such a simple thing. Yeah, see, look, I really, I'm having second thoughts about this now, guys. I know that I wanted to have a straight shot, but I'm, I'm really feeling like if we go down low, then this will be good. There's going to be two pillars here, and I think they're going to have to be farther apart than that. I want to say we're going to have to put them two, two blocks along the path again. Do I have smooth stone on me? I don't, but I can get some easy enough. Mm, stone box. Yes. I should have just brought slabs, but we can just do this. And that. So, no, I don't want bricks. I want, what do I want? I want the slabs. That's what I want. Desmodane with the follow. Thank you so much. I'm glad you're enjoying things. It's been a really good weekend for streaming. I've had a lot of fun. And, and the crew that has been here in the chat room with me has been really, really good people. Jegs. I'm not reading your whole name. <laughs> but welcome. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, oh, hey, let's, let's steal some of this before we... We move on. We don't need a lot of it, but so what did I say? I wanted to expand this by two more blocks, I think. So one, two, and then we'll just put down, let's put down some of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And why does that look incorrect? I'm not sure. I must have I must have deleted it, I guess, before. Uh, and then so let's just make sure this is right. So this is our middle. I'm going to change that to something obvious, like sand just in case the torch gets blown apart. So one, two, three, four on the fifth. So same thing, do one, two, three, four on the fifth. This is going to be good practice for Vast and fix it, building towers and entrances on an angle. I'm getting ready to tackle that that courtyard entrance for the frost tree on Vast. I'm I'm looking forward to it actually. CD player 96 flames, what's up? Uh, we are building a road to the gold farm. That's what's up. Vanilla Minecraft. This is the Citadel server. Uh, it's my whitelist server with a couple of friends, and we do some really geeky stuff. And yeah, I'm thinking. I moved that to, it could be a little bit narrower, but we, we can test that out again later. But I think that's that's gonna be good for a, an approach. Yeah, I think I think I wanna have this be lower. The question is how low, the question is how low. Because if we enter, if we enter like around here and we mow some of this down, like that. Then when we come up over this hill, then this will be, that'll be, that's a pretty cool view right there. Hello, friend. Oh, so close. I do find these guys really challenging. They change their direction at moments notice. Got him. Oh, <laughs> come on. 
Come on, dude. He can't see me, which is good. I'm gonna be careful not to shoot this pigment. <laughs> All three of us are just hailing arrows at this poor ghast. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, what was I saying? I'm gonna get rid of this too. So yeah, so if we come up here, like that's a pretty good angle. And I mean, like if we do, if we raise this up a little bit, then we don't have to go like all the way down. So we could come in down to this level, go through the gates, right? Like go through the gates here, right? Go through the gates kind of like at this level and then turn up when we reach this point here. I think that's what I want to do. I think that's what I want to do. I don't, oh, where is that coming from? Oh, he's shooting at somebody else. Uh, might be able to help out here. If he's not looking at me. Oh, wow. I overshot him. We s <laughs> I'm not sure who got him, but that was a good shot. Uh, all right, so I need some thoughts from the chat here. We're, we're going to come from, from this platform and we're going to come down some stairs. We're going to go through these two, these two pillars, which are going to eventually look nice. They're not going to be new pillars. Uh, and then we're going to come up another set of stairs a little bit more to come. This. So the whole time you're coming down and up, you're never going to lose sight of this. You're not going to be below, like you're not going to be down here where you can't see it. Like this is going to be the lowest point, I think. Does this look good or do we want to be... Do we want to be any higher? No, I feel like, I wonder what a lot of this is. 43, 42, the answer to life and everything. No, 43. I think, I think this is a good level. You were saying nice view. Yeah, yeah, I think this is the right way to go. Maybe one or two lower. Let's try two lower, looks like this. And I kind of feel, I mean, we can get rid of that. So two lower, two higher. All this is going to go away. Yeah, I think this is it. I think 43 is it. Uh, so I don't know if I want to, I don't know if I want to go that far. I guess we probably should get to at least here before we turn around. So let's just grab some stuff here. If you're wondering why I'm filling this in is because that way we don't have to go back and slab it later. So where's the edge of this platform? Let's do this. So we'll just connect up to that. No, it looks good after you got rid of the pillar. Yes, I agree. I agree, I agree. So that's the edge there. So this is the edge of the road. You need to mend some tools. Well, there's a great farm for it right there. And it does not take any time. I amended a pickaxe yesterday in about three minutes straight. So yeah, so at this point we would turn and head up. And I think that's a much better, much better way to go. So I guess we just have to figure out how wide we want this pattern to be. And so this would be the lowest point I said, right? Oop, I think I left a hole. Yeah, I think that works. I'm okay with raising and lowering some of the circle just so that it looks good. But I'm not sure. I mean, on one hand, I'm thinking like, why am I doing all this? I only ever come to the gold farm once in a while. But at the same time, it's nice when you're cruising around, especially when you're doing content creation, uh, when you're cruising around these builds and like everything you're kind of walking to or from, 
has a nice view and a nice kind of aesthetic to it. It's kind of fun. Um, I think what I want to do is I want to put a block of sand up here just so I can know where the middle is, which is there. Yeah. And this is the edge, I think. Yes. So one, two, this is the middle. Wah. I definitely still get my heart in my throat when I fall off of stuff in the nether in Minecraft. I'm not so worried about it on the overworld anymore, but I still have that first day playing Minecraft a heart attack when I fall off of something unsuspectedly into the nether. It does not sit well with me. Hi, do you use Optifine? I do. I do, I do. See? Zoom. Hey, there's MacCast. Right there. So he's going to throw a, a snowball at the snowball pigman and start earning some, some goodies. We now need to get up there that's the next the next phase because i think i think i like this height here yes 